Hey guys, what is going on? It's Thoughts HD, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video I haven't uploaded in a really, really long time, but I wanted to bring you guys a video on how to rank up quickly on Nuketown and uh, how to get better and play well on Nuketown. It's a, it's a really hard map to play on if you don't know how to. You can die a lot, but if you figure it out and you know how to play, you can get a ton of kills on this map. So the class I'm using in this video is the Feral with the ELO sight, Grip, Quick Draw, and Long Barrel. Grip and Quick Draw I use on almost every single gun in this game. It's pretty much essential to me, especially Grip, because accuracy is so important. If you can hit your shots and win your gunfights, then it'll be much easier to rack up a ton of kills. Also, Long Barrel, especially on an SMG, which I'm using in this game, is really important on this map. Uh, it basically just broadens your range and uh, you can kill people from distance, which uh, really, really helps, especially if you're doing something like this. If you're in the spawn, you can uh, you can kill people on the other side of the spawn, and uh, they really just have no answer for that. Perks I'm running on this class are Afterburner, Fast Hands, and Gung Ho. I wouldn't recommend running Afterburner. I would run something like Six Sense, but uh, I had been grinding and I really didn't switch it. It didn't really cross my mind. Fast hands is really important. You can aim down sights quicker after sprinting, which is so crucial, especially if you're rushing like I am in this gameplay. Uh, it'll make it much easier to win your gunfights, and uh, you will not die as much in one-on-ones. Um, Gung-ho is also good. Um, you can throw grenades, reload, stuff like that while you're sprinting, so it just really helps if you're rushing. Um, score streaks I'm using are the UAV, Hellstorm Missile, and the Talon, which I'm up in right now. The Talon is like one of my favorite kill streaks in this whole game. Um, if no one shoots it down, you can really rack up 10 kills in this thing easily, but I think I get 3 or 4 kills before someone shoot it, shoots it down on this map. But it is so much fun to use, and uh, it, it's really, really good. Hellstorm Missile is good on this map, especially with people dying a lot. You can pick them out in their spawns, and you can get... Uh, a lot of multi kills with the hellstorm on this map and uh like i said i'm also running the uav which i think is the most important streak to run on this map and to rank up fast um using uav even counter uav running them together is just deadly you'll rank up so fast because all those assists will will just keep looping and uh will will add up over time um, it's really crucial to rank up fast to run those two, especially with double XP. And on a map like this, um, you'll be able to keep looping them, keep looping them, and uh, things like that. Running UAV on this map will also help you get a lot of kills because most people do not run Ghost when they play on this map. So you can pretty much see where the enemies are at all times. And uh, the best way to get a lot of kills is to flank them. You're going to know where they are using the UAV. And uh, you'll be able to come up on the side of them from behind them and just really start going to work. Running with uh, teammates, even one, will help you a lot with this as well because they can distract them in the front and you can come in from the side or from behind and get a lot of kills. Um, a big component which you guys have seen me do in this gameplay is controlling the spawn. You guys saw I was in this spot last round by the garage by the car and just really controlling that area really controlling that area of the map um in the beginning of rounds where i am right now is, re is really a good point um because people are going to start respawning and spawning again stuff like that and you'll be able to either side like you saw right there left side and i'm right here aiming down the right side so it, it really broadens your range but once once you get through that, once the beginning of the round is over, probably a minute, 30 seconds in, move into this spot right here. This is probably the best spot, my favorite spot on the map to rack up kills. Um, it's right where they spawn, and once you're out of ammo, you can come behind this wall, reload, you have a safe spot. You can call in your kill streaks, call in your UAV like I did right there, and just come right back out and go to work. Um... A big component in ranking up quickly, especially during Nuketown 24-7, is play the objective game types. In this game, you guys can see I'm playing Domination. Um, 
you earn a lot of XP during these gameplays, especially if you play the objective. They last longer, you can rack up a ton of kills. Best type of games to play, in my opinion, are Domination, Hardpoint, and Kill Confirmed. Even though it doesn't last that long, um, kills get denied, things like that a lot, especially with this map being so small. So they can last a long time. And uh, if you go out there and start picking up tags, you can get a really, really high score. When you're playing the objective game types, it's super important to play the objective. I think in this game, I cap five or six flags, which is really crucial. Helps you get your kill streaks, helps boost your score, helps you rank up faster. It's just really, really important. Especially if you're playing a game like Hardpoint, playing the objective is huge. You don't directly have to play the objective, but people are always going to be running towards that Hardpoint. And um, you can just be behind, be in front of the hard point, and pick off enemies as they try to get in. Um, running with a team is very important on this map. I'm not running with a team on this game. But if you are playing objective games like hard point domination, you can always talk to your team, tell them where to cap, tell them where the enemies are, and things like that. And uh, they'll help you out as you help them out. Playing this map, I usually use two approaches either using the assault rifle or an SMG. When running an SMG like I am now, uh, I like to rush. Like I said, get up in the spawn points and just go to work, start racking up kills. Um, a lot of people don't do it, but running an assault rifle on this map, if you use the right one, can really help you out. Um, a huge advantage you'll have over most people who will run an SMG on this map is range. You can kind of stay back a little bit and just go to work you'll have the range aspect over them and uh, as long as you stay back and stay in the right positions you'll be able to rank up kills and really not die as much because you're not having direct one-on-one -on -one gunfights um the best assault rifles to use on this map are the m8 the hvk and the kn44 now the kn is a really really good gun they've buffed it recently um also the hvk you know it, it's just these weapons especially with the buff they received are really really good to use especially on this map running with the hvk and the kn it will be a little bit easier to push up with those because they are automatic so you will be able to get shots on enemies faster but if you stay back with the m8 on this map you can just rack up a ton of kills and shred enemies so I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I, I end up going 52-20, and 20, a really good game. I hope that this helps you out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It's been your boy, Thoughts HD, signing off. Peace.